Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke from uh, Luke Strat Designs and I'm the lighting designer for Dopapod. Uh, I've been building these uh, MA2 MIDI consoles for a while now. I'm an MA dealer and uh, this one, uh, I have to say, is by far my, my best Frankenstein yet, if you will. Um, it can load files to and from a Grand MA2 full-size console uh, almost without hiccup. Uh, you need to load a few um, macros and uh, scripts and whatnot to get it to go back and forth, but then once you're once you're up, you're ready to go. Okay, so the rundown here is, um, you know, if a if a Grand MA2 full size is, a, is the Starship Enterprise, this guy's the Millennium Falcon. Uh, you know, it's the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. You got all these buttons. I guarantee you, especially if you're doing uh, jam band punt stuff or EDM stuff, you're gonna be mashing away. Way quicker than those MA guys with their uh, on-screen, touchscreen stuff. Because, I mean, you can mix that too. You can have touchscreens up here and have just buttons down here and go crazy. The LPC is split in the middle here, so you've got 30 faders. And uh, I say 30 because there's 9 on each APC, but then I've written a script to turn these knobs. You can see here, this knob is actually a virtual fader. Each of the first 8 faders has 3 buttons. And um, and then we got our 101s up here, and then uh, up here in the grid, basically you've got this is these are all hard locked to page one, and these are all hard locked to page two. Um, so you can see you can load this file on, and this guy, boom, right there, monitor four. This guy here, boom, right there, monitor three. The biggest change from prior versions of the console is this uh, programmable keyboard. This guy here is basically a point of sale keyboard, totally modded for MA2. Um, you've got all 20 X keys here, um, all your normal programming keys that you'd expect, and even some on PC keys for changing the screen. This thing, I gotta say, is awesome. I'm building one for myself. Great for fly dates, great for guys who can't afford command wings. Even if you had a command wing, you could, you could do a modded version of this guy with, with just X keys and more uh, executors because they've got that uh, you know gamer keyboard feel that the MA has compared to the MIDI feel, which has its advantages and disadvantages, but this gives you the full mix. I now have LED feedback working for the entire console. Um, I use a pretty in-depth Lua script that I wrote combined with a pretty hardcore BOM file. The LEDs will will respond to MA. Um, so basically this is a Lua plugin that runs on a, on a loop. You can see I have it set running right now to, um, I think it's every quarter second it runs. Uh, and you can set this as fast or as slow as you need to based on your processing power. If you've got a really strong computer, you could probably set this to be really, really quick and the LED feedback would be almost instantaneous. The way the script works here is if there's an executor, it, the LED will be green. So you can see that they're green here and they, there are executors here. Um, if the executor is running currently, it'll be yellow. And these here, even though they're in a queue labeled off, they are currently running, so they're yellow. And then the red represents either an assigned macro or an effects tile. You can see here I have two effects running, okay? When you get down to the fader section, I've got a little system here for the uh, LED feedback. All three buttons will work, regardless of the lighting. But the red light means that you have either a macro, or an effect, or a rate master. Something that's not a sequence. So here you can see I've got a dimmer effect on 21, and there's a dimmer effect on 21. And then, um, you know, the green light represents that there's a sequence, and green with blue means that it's running. So you can see here, this is the, the one that's not running, and as soon as it's running, it's got the blue light. And then here's one that's already running. You can see as soon as I bring this guy back, it turns off. Uh, another really cool thing about the LED feedback is um, while the, the grids are locked to page one and page two in MA, um, everything at the bottom, just like on a real console, is is mapped to the floating page so in this show file right here i have a bunch of stuff fixed so it won't change pages but over here i've unfixed this stuff so you can see here i've got three executors and two open tiles that represents three executors and two open tiles 
right? But if I change pages here, uh, here I'll use my, my fader page button. If I change pages, you can see that it immediately updates to what's on that page. And um, that's really, really useful. And this lets you build really dynamic show files that will load over to a full size. You know, I've seen guys do like uh, fader one is a dimmer effect, fader two is a color effect, fader three is a position effect. And then you can just change pages down here on fader page to pick a different one, fire it, and go back to your main page. Um, this model also has a lot of good construction improvements um, and, and parts improvements. So, uh, you, you know, I can see here we've got this Kens Kensington trackball expert. Uh, man, this thing's great. I got to get one for myself. I don't know why I don't have one, but it's a lot more like an MA's trackball. It's actually better than an MA's trackball. It's got a uh, scroll wheel here. Now I've rack mounted all the hardware. So here's the MA 1K node, but I can build them with 2K node or a uh, a four port node if you guys uh, if you need more parameters then over there you can see the back of it it's pretty dark from this angle but there's a four port artnet node so it's this model right here is a thousand parameters but you can spread that over six universes one last little treat I, I uh, include all these consoles is this little IKEA light um, right now I have it set to white but it's got a dial so I can pick any color here and uh, I like to put this on like a nice dark blue, but you can see it's not underneath here and on the keyboard. So when you get that dark rave gig, you can go crazy. So if you're interested in the LPC, there's a couple options. Um, I f sell the whole console, everything you see below the computers. Um, it usually comes in around under five grand. Um, and that's with the 1K node. If you want to do a 2K node, it'd be more than that. But that comes with everything you see here and a template show file which has all the mapping and plugins already in there, which you can either do a, a partial show read uh, and bring your current file into it, or if you want to, you can export um, the keyboard mapping and the Lua script and the bone file and actually use it in an existing MA file, and I provide instructions on how to do that. Uh, if you're more of a DIY kind of guy or you already have a bunch of hardware, you can either send it to me and I'll build you the console with the hardware you've got, or you can uh, just buy the programming. Uh, cost for that for everything you see here is about 350 um, also I'm selling these uh, point-of-sale keyboards programmed for MA with a, a shortcut file and all the labels uh, $200 plus shipping so um, like I said I make one for myself they're really cool also I'm available for training on site or a remote via Skype um, you know, I'm available for design consultation gigs. Uh, I got a pretty full plate throughout the, the spring and into the summer, but there's a, a few pockets in there. Um, if you're interested in anything you see here, or you want to know more, shoot me an email, lukestratton at gmail.com. Find my Facebook page, uh, Luke Stratton Designs. I got a website, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, looking forward to seeing you out there.